What's up, O-Doers? Nathan here. As soon as I have my help desk team set up, I can start receiving tickets from my customers. Odoo has three main channels for automatic ticket creation, email, website, and live chat. These options allow customers to easily submit support requests, and I can manage all of them directly from my help desk dashboard. Today, we'll be focusing on email and website form channels. You can learn more about live chat and other tutorials linked down below. So let's jump into our database and get right into it, shall we? Let's start out on our finance teams page. The channel section of the settings page is available in the help desk team form. For the first part of this flow, we're going to be going over the email alias section right here. After I tick that checkbox, I can edit the name and the email alias in the alias field that appears. When customers send an email to this address, Odoo automatically creates a help desk ticket for me. Now that we've made these changes, I can show you what an email alias looks like in action. Let's say I'm a customer with a question about my order. I could send an email to my finances special email address. I have a new email ready to go out right here about a refund I haven't received yet. This looks good, so let's go ahead and hit send. And off it goes. Now let's jump back to our database and navigate to the overview page in the Help Desk app. From here, I can click into my finance team's tickets. And right off the bat, I can see that Odoo has created a ticket from the customer's email. The email subject line becomes the ticket's name, and Odoo also automatically assigned a ticket number. Now, when I dive into the ticket, I can see the body of the email in the description tab. And if I scroll down, I can see it here in the chatter as well. I can also see the automatic response that the customer has received thanks to an email template that I sent on the new stage of my pipeline. I can also use the chatter to send a direct message to the customer and log internal notes for myself. And if we scroll back up to the top, I can set a priority for this ticket from medium, high, to urgent. And I can also choose to add tags for any necessary information. For example, let's add the service tag to this here. Well, that was a super easy way to create a ticket. But setting an email alias isn't our only channel option. Customers also can contact us by submitting a request on Stealthy Wood's website. So let's switch to a different tab to see how that would look like for our StealthyWood.com customers when they land on our help page. As you can see, customers can go to the help page to submit a ticket when they visit our company's website. When setting up a form on the website, you can choose what fields you want your visitors to fill out. The fields marked with an asterisk are required. So name, email, and subject are required on this form. Since I'm also logged in as Jane, her name and contact info is pre-populated for me. My customers can also add a description in any attachments they'd like, such as PDFs, photos, or screenshots. But let's also go ahead and quickly add a description for our issue here. Once they fill out this form, they can go ahead and hit Submit Ticket. After thanking the customer for their submission, Odoo automatically gives the customer a ticket number for reference. They can click into the ticket number to view their ticket. Or since this customer already has an account with the company, we can select their name here, click on My Account, and then they can also click on the Tickets button within their profile. Then they can click into the ticket number line to learn more, and this page shows the ticket and any messages to the help desk agent, and the ticket stage as well. Now let's switch back to the database to check things out a little bit more further. From here, we can use the breadcrumbs to get back to the finance tickets page, where we'll find that Odoo has automatically created a help desk ticket from the website form submission. As you can see, the ticket will have the same format as the one created through the email alias, and our helpful support members can clearly see the issue and start resolving it right away. Pretty cool, right? Today, we saw two channel options, email alias and website form, both of which automatically create help desk tickets in Odoo. When a customer needs support, I want to make sure the process is easy by giving them multiple channels to contact me and provide them with the power to close their own tickets. Stay tuned for more tutorials about Help Desk. Thank you for watching, and remember, Odooers, it's Odoo and not Odon't.